I bless the name of the Lord. Welcome to the year 2021. This is the Lord's year of uncommon breakthroughs, not only in this ministry, but even in your life. Hallelujah. And uh, I urge you to be expectant of the things that God have planned to do in the year 2021 in your life. Do not be hesitant. This is the Lord's year of uncommon breakthroughs. Yes, last year was a tough year for many of us. We spent many times not knowing what to do. But we want to thank God because he has opened a brand new chapter in our lives. A brand new year the Lord has given unto us. And the Lord is speaking about breakthroughs. You might think that you are delayed by the things that happened last year. But our God knows no delay. Our God is not a God of delay. He is a God who works in his time. He has his own schedule. And so this year, I urge each one of us, from wherever you are listening, dream big. 2021 is the year of the Lord's grace. Dream big without being afraid. Let the Lord know what you want. Write your vision in big letters. Do not hesitate to write down your vision. Make sure you have your goals well written so that you can be able to ask God to fulfill every dream of your life. So I'm happy for you, wherever you are listening from. Again, welcome to Hosanna Gospel Center, mandated by the Lord God Almighty, to bring the message of hope and healing in your life. And we are determined this year to continue bringing the message of hope and healing in your life, knowing that this is the mandate the Lord has given unto us. Our mission is to ensure that there is hope in every situation over your life because our God is a God of hope. Where God is able to turn disappointments around and cause hope to reign. And this is the message today. Our God has given us a mandate to speak hope even in very desperate situations. To say that there is life when everybody else is talking about death. To declare the goodness of the Lord in every situation. Because we know with God, nothing is impossible. Hallelujah. And so I'm so grateful and I'm so honored for this privilege that the Lord has given me once again in the year 2021, to start on this altar and proclaim the gospel. I don't take it for granted. I take it the Lord wants me to deliver his message with clarity, wisdom, and revelation. And it's your duty also to pray for me that the devil will never heed the voice of the Lord that he has put upon my life and upon this ministry. Hallelujah. And so may the Lord continue being on your side. Again as I said. Prepare for breakthroughs. In this year 2021. Prepare for breakthroughs. Have your goals well written down. And I, 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 I'll make statements here. That are very bold statements. Because this is the year. Of boldness. It's the year. To speak the word of God and the promises of God as they are given to us by the Lord. And the first statement that I'm going to say 
is that your history will not define your future. So if you are listening to me, this is the first Sunday in the year 2021. And I'm declaring in the name of Jesus that your history will not define your future. Your history, including the history of the year 2020, will not determine your future. Your future will not be determined by your history. Your future will solely be determined by God himself. The mandate you have is to seek the voice of God, seek the word of God, and get involved in God's business because your history will not define your future. Many things have happened in your life. Others happened 10 years ago, 5 years ago, 2 years ago, a few months ago. But this morning, the Lord is saying, it's the year 2021, the year of the Lord's breakthrough. Your history will not define your future. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Your history will not determine what the Lord is doing in your life. He is doing a new thing in your life. He spoke to Jeremiah. And I want to read these few scriptures here. In the book of Jeremiah 29. Gloria, if you have it, you can give it to us. And this is the Lord saying that I know what I am doing. This year, you have to trust in God. Like never before. I said this year, you have to run to lean on the Almighty God. You know, I've, I've asked God to help me, to trust Him more, and to lean on Him more. Because the Lord says, I know what I am doing. Nothing just happens. Nothing just happens. Whatever situation you are in this morning, the first week of the year 2021, the Lord knows it. He orders the steps of a righteous person. So whatever the situation this morning, I am here to let you know the Lord is saying, I know what I am doing. The Lord knows what he is doing. It could seem like you are going down the valley. The Lord knows what he is doing. I know what I am doing. I have it all planned out. Hallelujah. The Lord has planned your life all out. This year, you now have a mandate to totally rely on God. Do not lean on your own understanding. Trust God. Do whatever the Lord tells you. Dr. Zori on, on, on Thursday night, Friday morning, when we were crossing over from 2020 to 2021, gave us a powerful message that this year one of the things we have to do is to literally hear the voice of God and do what the Lord tells us to do. Because God knows what he is doing. He has your life planned out. He has a plan to take care of you. Hallelujah. The Lord has a good plan to take care of you. I know the devil have, has plans to take care of you in a negative way. But the almighty God says, I know what I'm doing. I have your plans well laid out. I have plans to take care of you, not a burden you. I have plans to give you the future you hope for. And that's why I said, you have to actually dictate or declare your future. The Lord says, he has plans to give you the future you hope for. 
What are you hoping for this year? What are you hoping for? What are you waiting for this year? The Lord says, I will not leave you. I will not abandon you. I have plans to give you the future you hope for. What are you hoping for? What are you waiting for this year? Tell it to God and wait on God and do whatever he tells you to do. Let's continue with this scripture now. When you call on me, hallelujah, this year, when you call on God, when you come and pray to me, I will listen. Go ahead, tell your neighbor, the Lord will listen to you this year. Now tell them nicely, the Lord will listen to you this year. Do not fail to call God. I know when we encounter issues, we like to call some people. But the Lord says, when you call on me, when you come and pray to me, I will listen. Make sure that you call on God first. Let's continue reading this scripture. When you come looking for me, oh God, this year, this year, the Lord is saying, when you come looking for me, you will find me. Somebody should, should be saying amen. When you come looking for me, in other words, this year, you have to go out of the way to seek God, to look for God. Hallelujah. Have time to pray. Have time to study the word of God. Be involved in God's business. Pay your tithe. Be involved in your small group. In your ministry. Do the business of the Lord. When you come looking for me, you will find me. This year, the promise of God is very clear. When you look for God, he will be found for you. Come looking for me, you will find me. Yes. When you get serious about finding me. Tell your neighbor, get serious. Now tell your neighbor nicely, get serious. The Lord says, yes. When you get serious about finding me, and want it more than anything else. God knows everything. He has everything over your life planned out. And he says, when you get serious about finding me and want it more than anything else, you are going to find me. And he says, I will make sure you won't be disappointed. Somebody say amen. The Lord will make sure this year you will not be disappointed. And I'm saying it to you. The Lord is saying he will make sure this year you won't be disappointed. I don't know what you are expecting. But your expectation will not be cut off. This year, God's decree, he says, I will turn things around for you. Hallelujah. I will turn things around for you. This is the year of turning around. Things will be turned around in your life. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I said things will be turned around. If you are failing in your school, things are going to turn around and you're going to be passing. Blessed be the name of the Lord. You are listening to me and you are not feeling well in your body, the Lord is turning things around and healing in Jesus' name is upon your life. The Lord says, I will turn things around for you. You've been waiting on God. Maybe for your green card. The Lord says, I am turning things around for you. This time, this time, this time. I already told you, the other Sunday I was here. The Lord gave us a new sanctuary as a clear indication 
of what he wants to do in our lives. And we are believing God that many breakthroughs are coming this year as a result of the super intervention of God in people's lives. This is the year of your breakthrough. Tell your neighbor, God is turning things around for you. He is turning things around for you. So brethren, don't wait for things to continue the same way they were last year. Don't expect you to be stressed the same way you are stressed last year. This is a new year. The Lord says, I am turning things around for you. Stress will be replaced with joy and peace. I am telling you, you will see brethren smiling. Don't ask them why. Because God is turning things around in their families. Those children that you say they gave you a lot of trouble, the Lord is turning things around in their lives. You will marvel by what the Lord will be doing in your husband's life. God is going to turn things around. Your wife, you have complained about her for many years. This year the Lord says, I am turning things around for you. Things are turning around. Hallelujah. That's why I say not only in this ministry, but even in your own lives. Once you seek the Lord, you will gain clarity on where you are going. When you seek the Lord, you will, you will find clarity of where you are going. Know what you want this year. Tell your neighbor, know what you want. No, go ahead, ask them. Write out, what do you want? No, ask them nicely. Don't be afraid of them. Ask them, what do you want? You know, at times it's like we don't want anything. Sometimes it's like we don't want anything. Pastor Kamau has always said, everybody is waiting for something. Even when you see them happy and smiling and you know, driving big cars, they are waiting for something. Everybody on this planet, you ask them, they will tell you. The thing is, what are you waiting for? You, you, you. What are you waiting for? What do you want? Ask them nicely, what do you want? What do you want? Ask that to the Lord. Maybe you are, you, are, you, are, you are single. You want a husband. You want a wife. Tell the Lord, I want a husband. Tell the Lord exactly, I want to graduate from school. Tell the Lord, what do you want? Write your vision in big letters. Hallelujah. And this is, these are the words the Lord was speaking to Habakkuk. In the book of Habakkuk, uh, second. Yeah, give us that, uh, Gloria. Give us Habakkuk 2, uh, verses 2 and 3. Because the Lord was talking to Habakkuk on this line. And uh, he was telling Habakkuk that... And the Lord answered me and said, write a vision and grave it so plainly, so plainly. Write your vision in big letters, the King James Version will say. Write your vision in big letters and grave it so plainly upon tablets that everyone who passes may be able to read it. What do you want? Go ahead and ask your neighbor, what do you want? What do you want? What do you want? People want something. What do you want? If you want joy, tell the Lord I want joy. If you need peace, tell the Lord I need peace. I need healing. I need my family to be reunited. Tell the Lord what you want. I need a better career. If you have been broke all the years, tell the Lord this time I want money in my bank account. Tell the Lord exactly what you want, but make sure that your pockets are sealed. You know, the Bible says that it's like some people have pockets that have holes. Huh? Did you read that one? They have pockets that have holes. They put the money there. They don't know where the money goes. The, hole, the, the, the money goes through the holes. Give the Lord your tithe and he will protect your money and lead you to abundance this year. Tell your neighbor this year. No, no, tell, you, you, tell them nicely this year. You don't want to pray God for money. And when the Lord gives you money, you put it in pocket with holes. And you know the kind of holes I'm talking about. Sometimes the holes can come in a, through a phone call, right? 
You know the story. I don't have even to keep telling you. Holes, the devil can create holes for your money through the years if you are not careful. But this year, refuse. Say, I am going to have money and I'm going to have it in abundance. Glory be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm saying, I'm talking here. I know. <laughs> you see, see, people have always told me, Pastor, I have big problems. Because all I did was to send money to some people, you know, and they never did what the money was intended for. This year, you have to refuse that. Tell you anybody, refuse it. Those are the kind of the holes in the pockets that I'm talking about. This year, make sure the money stays in your pocket by ensuring your money with God. He says, test me in this. Test me in this. And you will see, I will open the floodgates of heaven. This year, do you need the floodgates of heaven open for your life? The windows and the doors and the floodgates of heaven opened? Pay your tithe and see God working wonders for you this year. Write your vision. What do you want? If you want money, go ahead and tell the Lord, I've been broke right now. I want some money. I know some people might say, Pastor, is that the right someone to preach the first Sunday? Let me tell you, brethren, many people have no peace because they don't have any money. They will come here and Mama Karadi will read us with that nice song. You, you heard the song, right? But even when they are jumping, when they are coming down, they are not happy because the phone bill is not paid. It is that, and now the rent is due. They don't have the money. So all I'm saying is, the Lord this year does not want you to keep worrying about money. The Lord wants you to be involved in his business and have abundance. Tell your neighbor excess. Where by now you're going to be looking for people to bless? I have a lot of money. I need to bless some people. This is your year in Jesus' name. The Lord spoke to Habakkuk and said, the Lord answered me and said, write the vision. Write it down. I want some money and I want to be given unto God what is due to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Put God first in everything this year. I tell you, anybody, good, put God first. Write your vision and engrave it so plainly upon tablets that everybody who passes may be able to read it. Everybody can know that you really want to graduate from that school. <laughs> Hallelujah. Everybody can tell what your vision is. The Bible says here, everyone who passes may be able to read it easily and quickly. Tell your neighbor, easily. And you see, when it's easy and quick, everybody will want to help you. You know, even people that who say they are your friends, they will, if you are going to school, they will call you to give you a book. Because they already know you want to go to school, right? Because you have put your vision so clear, and it can easily and quickly be read. Continue with this scripture. Let's continue. Because this talks about the future. What the Lord is doing. The vision is for an appointed time. Hallelujah. That vision that you are putting down. That you don't want to be broke anymore. It's for, an, it's for an appointed time. Hallelujah. That vision. That your entire family will be born again. It's coming to pass. I remember when I used to pray for my family. As a young boy, I had just gotten saved. I was in high school. And I was praying for my family. And I was telling God, I want all of them to be born again. All of them. I didn't want to leave anybody behind. And I am telling you, everybody in our family, even them that have already been promoted to glory, they went to heaven because they were born again. They believed. The vision was for an appointed time. The vision is for an appointed time. It talks about the end fulfillment. It will not 
deceive or disappoint. Hallelujah. Tell your neighbor you will not be disappointed. Make sure you write your vision, whatever you want. And you don't have, you know, there are people now, again, you don't have to show them what you are writing because they, they, they might discourage you, right? You have to know where you put your vision. Write it in the big letters, but you have to know where to press it. Don't press it where there will be people erasing it every day. And now you are trying to write it every day. No! You have to know who are vision killers and the people God is calling to help you in your dream. The vision is for an appointed time. Wait for it. For it will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. On its appointed day. Hallelujah. Tell your never appointed day. No, tell them now it's the appointed day. It's like somebody who is waiting to get, to get married. They are waiting for that day, right? And others are waiting for their graduation. They are already practicing with a gown. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm telling you, you practice. You rehearse it in your mind. Because it's coming on its appointed day. This year, the Lord says he's going to give you a breakthrough in that vision. Your breakthrough is coming. Your vision will have a voice. Many will hear the voice of your vision. And they will have to create a way for you. For a vision is for an appointed time. And a vision of God never dies. Oh, go ahead, tell your neighbor, dream big. Tell them nicely, dream big. Don't dream, don't dream small dreams. This year, dream better dreams than last year. Hallelujah. Dream big. Do not be afraid to dream big. And take advantage of every opportunity the Lord brings into your life. Seize every opportunity. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Seize the opportunities the Lord is bringing into your life. I will be talking more on this uh, next week. But I have to say this year Make sure you pray. Seek the face of God to hear the voice of God. Have knowledge of the word of God. God's promises. Know them because they are true and amen. Know the promises of God. That the Lord does not want you at the tail. The Lord wants you to be the head. He does not want you to be at the bottom the Lord wants you to be at the top. And it, you know, I love the Lord because he knows how to talk to us. <laughs> Blessed be the name of that word. If somebody is already at the top, you really don't need to tell them they need to be at the top. Right? That's how it works. It is the person who actually seems to be at the bottom who needs to hear that the Lord does not want you to stay at the bottom. He wants you to climb up to the top. The Lord talks to people who seem like they are at the bottom. And he tells them, you do not belong to the bottom. You belong to the top. And this year the Lord is saying, you do not belong at the bottom. You belong at the top. In the name of Jesus. Make sure you start scribing the steps. By prayer, by studying the promises of God, getting the plan and knowing the plan of God over your life, and taking the necessary actions as the Lord tells you. Like being involved in God's business. Making sure that you are involved in your ministry. Making sure you are involved in your small group whereby you can be able to be a blessing to other members. Asking like Pastor Kim was saying, what can I do in the new sanctuary now? God has given us a new sanctuary. What can I do? Pastor Kamau is here and he's been, I already told you, he is in charge of ensuring 
that the place is neat and clean for us to enter. And you can call him and ask him, Pastor, what can I do? I want to be a blessing. What can I do? Even though it's coming and sweeping, I'll come. Even though it's coming and just praying for an hour there, I will come. You can talk to us, what can I do? What can I do? Do something this year, hallelujah. Tell your neighbor, do something. No, tell them nicely, do something. <laughs> make, sure, make sure that you win. I want to I wanna add this year, I don't want to start by keeping you a lot in the summons, but I cannot finalize without saying that this year, you have to refuse to start the year in worry and anxiety. You have to refuse. Ah, tell your neighbor, anxiety is not my portion. This year, I'm saying you have to refuse. Because the, <laughs> refusing is key here. Because the Lord has given us power to accept or reject. Make up your mind. And refuse to start this year in worry and anxiety. You have to refuse. So you are never refuse. <laughs> you cannot start the year in worry and anxiety. Because I've learned myself that which worries me is that which I have not fully committed to God. And I'm going to make that bold statement again. That which worries you is that which you have not fully committed to God. If you fully committed to God, it is not your battle anymore. It is God's issue. And the Lord says, the battle does not belong to you. The battle belongs to me. If you keep worrying and in anxiety, it's because you have not fully committed your issues to God. This year, they commit everything to God. All your cares, all your concerns, all your worries, name them down. Write your worries down. Write them down and surrender them to God. Refuse to start this year in worry and anxiety. You know, Peter was saying in the book of First Peter 5, 7, if you have it, you can just post that. And it, it says here, casting the whole of your care, all your anxieties, hallelujah, Go ahead, tell your neighbor the whole of your care. Don't commit some and refuse to commit some. Hallelujah. You see, Mama Ruth have said they are traveling this Tuesday to Kenya. And they will check in their bags right here in Boston and they will be picking the bags in, in Nairobi. And I've always thought the way we check in our bags and we don't see them anymore is the same way we need to release our cares and our worries to God. And that's it. Casting the whole care, the whole of your care, all your anxieties. And don't say, Pastor, I don't have any anxieties. I'm saying don't start this year in worry and anxieties. The Lord says, cast all of this to the Lord. All your worries. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Don't worry that you will get into an accident. Commit yourself to God. Don't worry that something terrible might happen to you or to your family. Cast all your worries unto God. The Bible says here, all your concerns. And I can say here, this year I know and the Lord knows you have concerns. <laughs> Tell your neighbor, the Lord knows your concerns. <laughs> yeah. The Lord knows your concerns. Sometimes we talk about our concerns, sometimes we don't. We keep them in, the, in our hearts. 
But the Lord says, this year cast all these anxieties, all these worries, all your concerns once and for all. Hallelujah. Once and for all. On him. For he cares for you. Affectionately and cares about you watchfully. The Lord cares about you. This year, I can comfortably tell you, the Lord cares about you. Cast all your burdens. Cast all your anxieties. Cast all your worries. All your concerns. Once and for all. And to God. Who is able to take care of them. Don't carry burdens this year. Release your burdens to God. Christ went to the cross. He took all our infirmities. He took all our burdens. So that we can walk in this world in freedom. This is the year of freedom. Do not allow your heart to be weighed down by anxieties and worries and concerns that are worthless, conspiracy theories that don't go anywhere. Do not entertain them. Doesn't matter from what broker they are coming from. It doesn't matter from what you know, network they are coming from. This year cast all those theories unto God and be free. To celebrate and worship the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords who cares about you. Tell your neighbor I am free. This year, walk in freedom. Don't start the year in worry and anxiety. Cast all your burdens and all your cares unto God. This is your year of uncommon breakthroughs. And I want to pray. I know we'll be talking about this more and more as we talk about God's plan of our lives. But today I want to pray that as we start the year, we will start the year free from worry, free from all anxieties and concerns, casting them unto God once and for all unto the King of Kings. If you are in this sanctuary, Rise up on your feet. This is the first Sunday of the year 2021. Lord, we are coming before you. We are casting all our worries, all our cares, all our concerns unto you. You have said you care about us, O oh God. Our dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the year 2021. Jehovah, King of glory, many across the year with so many concerns and worries about what's going to happen with the economies, with the countries, with the jobs, with everything in the world. But your word is very clear. God Almighty, you have spoken. You have a good plan for our lives. You have asked us to rely and fully trust in you this year. And cast all our burdens, all our worries and concerns unto you. Our God and our Father, even the sick amongst us. We commit those sickness unto thee, Jehovah. And in the name of Jesus Christ, we claim healing over their lives, oh God. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our dear Heavenly Father, other concerns at work, other concerns about the economies, about politics. My God, even those Jehovah King of glory that are bothered by conspiracy theories and vaccine and everything else. Our God and our Father, we commit all these concerns unto you, O God. We are believing in you. You are the Lord God Almighty and you change not. And your word is true. And today God Almighty will release all unto you. You care for us. You care for us, oh God. You care for us, our Father. We give you praise and we give you honor. 
my God, every concerned family this afternoon, we commit it before you. That disruption in that family, my God. Today you are turning things around in that family. My God, you are bringing forth understanding, love and respect in that family. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, children are honoring their parents once again. Our dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the dreams and the visions of the year 2021 for this ministry. And even for the individuals, members of our God and our friends and our partners. We pray that this year, they will walk in freedom. Freedom. Jesus, you came to set the captives free. Maybe you are listening to me. And you are saying, I have heard the message. But I want to start this year in the kingdom of God. You've never been saved. Maybe you are saved and you are backslid. And the Lord is calling you home to receive Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. I want to pray with you this afternoon. Just say this prayer. My God and my Father, I come to you. Set me free and save me for the glory of your name. Write my name in the Lamb's book of life. I accept you as my Savior. If you have prayed that prayer, I believe you've been born again. You can write to us. You can call us. We will pray for you and pray with you. And you are in here in this sanctuary or in your house or wherever you are listening from. And you have a need. I want to pray with you this afternoon. If you are in the sanctuary, lift up your hand. Tell God, I am here. I am here. I am here, Jesus. Our God and our Father, your servants are in your presence. They are saying, I am here. Meet me. Lord God Almighty, I am here. Meet me. You have spoken, Lord. You will never leave us. You will never forsake us. You will be with us till the close of the age. Today, God Almighty, every need represented across this sanctuary. And in the life of every viewer this afternoon, Lord God Almighty, we pray, meet that need according to your riches in glory. We commit the entire ear unto your able hands. Thank you for speaking to us. Thank you for giving us the voice to bring hope and healing to our generation. May your name be worshipped. May your name be praised. And it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. And everybody says amen. Everybody says amen. Give the Lord a mighty hand clap this afternoon. Give the Lord a better hand clap this afternoon. Go ahead, tell your neighbor, no worry this year. Oh, tell them nicely, no worry this year. May the Lord God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for tuning in. We will see you again on our, on our Thursday fellowship and on, on Sunday as we continue saying God has given us breakthroughs. Have a wonderful week. Thank you.